the story of our life in the end is not our life. It is our story. Americana for me is about the ongoing struggle between the individual and the social, between freedom and conformity. And travel enables you, enlightens you, to be able to see the difference. Americano is about the crisis that we all feel as North Americans directly after college when all of a sudden you're free from your parents and you're free from school and all these things you've been trying to finish off for so many years and life says, okay, now what do you want to do? And most of us go, I have no idea. I really fell in love with the whole idea of initiating to another culture and opening your mind and your perception to a different culture. The dialogue. I thought it was extremely well written and realistic. There are three acts in the pageant of bullfighting, much like American cinema. Right. Well, the fight does seem about as predictable as American movies. <laughs> no. Nothing is more predictable than Hollywood. Three young Americans who travel to Pamplona find themselves caught up in the fiesta de San Fermin. Engage in the madness that <laughs> is that seven days in, in the north of Spain. Can you tell me some more about the bullfights? Would you buy me a drink? And get introduced a little bit to the Basque country and meet a, a bunch of different characters who sort of pull them out of their comfort zone. Do you think I could have my journal back? Hmm. Here, here. He's everybody who's ever had to make a decision about what it is that they actually want with their life. It's a movie about what happens in life and what happened in my life and in a lot of the guys that I grew up with. You have these moments of crisis. I feel a bit like a dog on a freeway. <sighs> yeah, I know the feeling. It's the crisis of what steps do I take in my life and they can be daunting at times. You look like a kid who does not want to go to school. The easy path is being offered to him sort of do the things you're supposed to do, get the education, get the job, or the much more difficult path, which is to follow either sort of a nebulous creative pursuit. You know, my mom always says one day you'll just wake up, roll out of bed, and you'll know exactly what it is you're supposed to do. Really? Oh, I sure am looking forward to seeing that day. Ah! She's an actress. No! No! She's the type of person you really want to be. No, 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 no. the character I was looking for a character that had that much playfulness you're just allowed to do so much when you're playing an actor because actors are performers and they're kooky and so I didn't have to be all pretty and dolly I could be a little more crazy She is the, the lens through which we get to see the world around just traveling through Pamplona. She also happens to be fantastically beautiful. Adela is every man's dream of what's supposed to happen when you go backpacking. Unfortunately, kids, it's not that way. Sabes que te cogería como un pez. Te rajaría la cabeza, la cola. Te sacaría las tripas y las pondría a mí misma. I have no idea what you just said, but it sure sounded good. As two people, they would be attracted to each other because they sort of have matching passions. I think they're flip sides of the same coin. She's a woman who you know, has this really vibrant personality and has a passionate attachment to life and living. And I think she sees that in Chris. So what do you think of the bullfight? Uh, hey man, you know, it's your world. I'm just passing through. No man, what do you think? She's just that inspiring soulful, generous person that takes great pleasure in seeing other people's growth because it makes her feel good about herself. His relationship with her gives him the confidence to make whatever choice it is that he makes after the end of the film. How are you guys doing, hey? Oh, fantastic. This is great. This is really poetic. Brian is referred to in the script as the crazy maker. What's all this crap about me being a crazy maker? You're crazy! addicted to Vicodin, he's, you know, pill popper. It's also a way for, another way for him to run from the pain of the uh, relationship. Michelle is really in that place that most of 
we women find ourselves, which is um, about finding our voice. Brian, this is disgusting. Michelle, this is disgusting. Michelle, Michelle, why can't you just appreciate it for what it is? Two of them are just sort of complete opposites, and this becomes apparent as the film progresses. They see, in contrast, what they're living to what Adela and Chris are doing. Just our dynamic reflects on theirs. I think the timing is perfect within the story, because I think that is when you would probably make a lot of realizations in life, when you're abroad. When you're away from things that are comfortable to you, I think you're much more able to make clear decisions about your own life because you don't have the daily grind things sort of weighing on your mind. One of the most important things we can do is, you know, explore. And that's really what the story is about, is exploring, you know, out there and in here. It also has to do with the culture. I think it has to do with the way people are in Spain as opposed to how they are here in America. There is a bigger value, weight given to how you live your life. And that's why I think travel is so important beyond just going put yourself in the in the way of other cultures and seeing the great amount of similarity between all peoples and the vast difference between their cultures. Ricardo Wapato! He owns a club called the Americano in Pamplona. It takes place at the running of the bulls. He's an artist that travels around to all the big festivals, sets up shop and, and makes this weird wild club effect. Don't fall for the con. He's a devious guy. He wants to lead you into the darker chambers of your brain. When he opens that door, it'll keep you from going insane. My beautiful people. Ricardo, I think, is more into the mysteries of the people. You know, he's a people person. Drink it. If you put yourself in the way of experience, really good things can happen. And he is a person who would have lived that mantra. Take it easy, but take it. The darker characters are offered me. You know, I started out playing Shakespeare, and all the bad guys in Shakespeare are usually the leads. Unfortunately, it switched a little bit, but uh, there's still good parts. You read the morning paper. You sip your cup of joe. And you go on with your nose candy and then you go to ecstasy and God knows where you... <laughs> what kind of club is this? To have a guy like that around set, you know, it's one of the few times in my life I'm happy to shut up and listen. He's a legend, you know, it was hard not to like stare at him, you know what I mean, while he was working. Oh, God. Good God!